Hello, it's me, Jackalopium. Welcome along. We're having a look at Idle Champions of the Forgotten Realms. Uh, what is this? What is Idle Champions of the Forgotten Realms? Uh, idle clicker type game set in the kind of popular D&D &D universes and um, it's a really good I mean it's free so that's all good um why am I doing this now um well first reason I really quite enjoy this uh, I really enjoy playing this um, I just leave it running in the background quite often while I do something else even while I'm you know uh, editing or you know, even recording some episodes, although it does take up quite a, a lot of resources, quite a lot of machine resources. Um, so the second reason um, is, and we're going to have a look at this after we get started, actually. We'll get started and then we'll look at the second reason. The second reason being that there is a massive... Um, Steam exclusive special offer on at the moment and uh, that's really good and worth taking advantage of but let's get something started first and we'll just leave it running in the background let us start something off what are we gonna look at um, let's do the mad wizard that is like your kind of prototypical grinding mission you can see here that um, they're opened up to free play, which means I've already completed these missions. So we'll start this objective. And there you go. We're going to start off with this little guy here. He's called Deacon. And there you go. He's facing some imps and a bunch of uh, party mates has just um, spawned in on this bar here, which is your... Um, hero select screen um, what we're going to do first is and this is something that um, you get to grips with the longer you play it but um, when you first start you just basically get a kind of set of standard heroes you get Bruinor who's a dwarf uh, you get Celeste who is a paladin uh, Naeli, who's uh, a kind of human tank, uh, and you populate your um, heroes into a party like so. And as you can see here, we can click on the screen um, to carry out attacks on these creatures. Um, you're going to be doing that quite a lot to start with, um, but there is um, a system in place to stop or to negate you having to click. Uh, and this is pretty awesome. You're basically building a machine. Um, and that'll come more into, into a play a bit later as well. But what we're going to do is we're going to click here on our familiars. And you start off. You can actually get, I think, the first one of these familiars. You can buy for like 100 gems. And I think you start off with like 250 gems as soon as you log in. Something like that. So you can afford your first familiar straight away. It's not always um, the best thing to buy. But it's certainly a very early thing you want to do almost straight away. If not straight away with your first 100 um, gems. Um, like any premium currency, it's called gems. Everything's a gem. Everything's gems. You go to the shop and it's gems. Everything's gems. Buy things with gems. Always gems. Everybody has seen gems if you've ever played an online RPG or online life service or anything like that. They really are always called gems. I don't know why it's so boring and tedious. But I think people expect it. <laughs> I remember seeing uh, one guy objecting to uh, Cyberpunk 2077's currency, uh, which is called Euro Dollars, just as something unique. And he was objecting because he wanted them to be called credits, like every other sci-fi thing that's ever been like invented. 
He actively wanted the most boringest um, kind of currency names ever made. So yeah, I think um, a lot of the reason why currencies always look the same is because people expect them to. Obviously, tropes are kind of comfortable and cliched, and that's what people like. Ooh, we are on the second level here. Um, you can see the active level um, up here in the top right. Uh, there you go, it's level two. And each level fills in with a set goal. Um, this one is just to collect items that are dropped by these imps. And we never got around to filling in our hero party just yet. I wanted to show off the familiars real quick. So let's just say, actually we won't use that one. Actually, yeah, we will. Your first um, familiar will be this poking hand here. You just load him up there and he basically clicks the screen for you. And you will, one of your main goals is to open up as many of these familiars as possible. The heroes themselves, you can buy with real money or the game is very generous with unlocking these things and we will come to that when we look at the special offer a special offer basically gives you heroes for free and uh, some really good equipment but we'll check that out in a minute let's just load up our little heroes here uh, there you go and these are just a bunch of heroes that, um, you know, I've been playing the game for about nine months, a year, something like that. Um, I actually started playing a little bit before my old channel got smushed and then I was playing um, maybe a little bit addictively um, after the channel got smushed. I've unlocked a fair few of these heroes. I don't. He's this guy here is a new hero that you get from uh, from uh, the kind of in-game events. This is one that's running at the moment. You will um, you'll get three champions, so you will quickly manage to build up quite a nice stable of characters. There are unlockable characters like this. Thing here this old lady here she was unlocked through the game through gameplay as well um, I did forget to talk about familiars and the way to uh, make them stronger is to click over here on um, you have uh, 12 uh, hero slots all together even though you either have nine slots on the table either nine or ten slots on the table uh, but there is a 13th hero and that is your um, click damage. Okay, so the second reason to start playing Idle Champions are the Forgotten Realms. Um, right now, and while, why I am doing the video, is for this Steam exclusive giveaway. It's uh, the Warden's Champions of Renown pack, um, so-called because it includes um, one of the heroes, Warden. Uh, now, what this pack um, details, and this is pretty awesome, it's going to give you over a hundred US dollars value um, absolutely free, absolutely at no cost to you whatsoever. All Steam players who log in to Idle Champions of the Forgotten Realms between Monday the 6th of September at 10am Pacific and Tuesday the 14th of September at 10am Pacific will receive the Warden's Champion of Renown Pack absolutely free. Um, what does the, the um, Warden's Champion of Re Renown Pack include? It unlocks five pretty fantastic uh, new characters well not new but um you know ones um that usually you might have to pay for although there are loads of different ways they and um, generously give away the champions and i would probably 
say to steer away as much as you possibly can from buying champions you'll acquire champions for free you can play quite easily you can have many hours of um, fun with idle champions without spending a single do uh, dollar and um, i was gonna say without spending a single dollar but uh probably not um now what do you get with your pack of freebies you get five extra champions you get donar who unlocks in slot two uh Grommar, who unlocks in slot three now Grommar was actually one of the first in fact she was the first champion which i actually did buy with money i did invest in Grommar for money um and what i would say as a tip uh is to maybe replace some of your early slot characters um as early as possible so this actually does slot out Grommer, who is like i say absolutely fantastic she is and donna of slot two who i would say is the second slot which you would probably want to at a normal um rate of uh of gameplay you would want to replace anyway so this actually does give you um, slot 2, slot 3, Bailoff for slot 4, Shandy at slot 6. So that's of your um, first 6 slots. This um, this uh, free pack actually allows you to upgrade 4 of your first 6 champions. Which is, all, which is absolutely amazing. And slot 11, Warden for slot 11. Warden is pretty fantastic, but if you are a new player, you probably won't be unlocking slot 11 and 12. But it might take you a couple of days. Um, the pack also gives you ex two new exclusive familiars, the Gelatinous Cube and a Pixie Roid and a Corgi. It also gives you... For each of the five heroes, it gives you 16 gold hero chests, which is absolutely fantastic for kitting out your heroes with um, premium gear. Um, with two guaranteed shiny equipment cards, it gives you two per hero straight away. So you would get 10 pieces of shiny equipment, which I think would unlock a achievement straight away as well okay so for the last few minutes of the video i think we talk about um what we actually get let's have a look at what we get so these are through the power of editing i've set up my team to take um a look at slots one through six and then slot 11 which is uh gonna instantly slot out for warden straight away so this is the character you get he looks pretty funky but he is uh, he's pretty good he's a really um good dps character um who replaces uh jamila who is also a pretty decent um dps character um the other ones you get ashara is um probably someone you would think about swapping out fairly early anyway if you weren't getting the steam upgrade pack whatever you want to call it um she swaps for shandy this uh, bow and arrow user who is a rather fantastic she allows the party to move forward quicker um who's next uh slot three is Nayeli, who slots out for Grommer, who is a tank for tank swap. So that's Grommer, that's who you'd get from Steam. She is an absolutely fantastic buffer and tank. She is one of the better tanks, I find, and she she stays with me through most, um, most of the... Uh, parties and through most of the missions you also get to replace Yarlaxel here with Bailoff. I haven't got Yarlaxel as part of the team because he's actually on a another mission with my uh, second adventuring party you can um, you can have two or even three or even four I think now you can have three concurrent 
uh, adventuring parties and Yolaxel is on my second party there. Um, so yep, he would swap out for uh, Bailoff. So let's have a look at Bailoff. He is, um, even though Yolaxel is, uh, is a drow character, he swaps into Bailoff, who is also a drow character. Um, Yarlaxle is one of the better starting heroes and he you'll get a lot of use out of Yarlaxle. He's very good at um, gold find which is how you uh, you pay for your heroes upgrades is through gold. Not XP for some reason even though I think I think people who play um, Dungeons and Dragons are probably okay with the concept of XP. But anyway, that's uh, that's a choice they made. <laughs> Who else? Um, it is to swap out. Um, what's her name? I can never remember this lady's name. She's a female healer. She's called Celeste. She is a cleric, and she will swap out for and Donna, who is another uh, healing hero. I think maybe he is going to be slightly more useful to you as uh, if you are just starting starting out. He'd be fairly useful to you. Even though I'm now starting to swap back in my starting characters, you'll find that as you enter the kind of mid game to... I don't think I'm at the late game, but I'm, I'm currently in the mid game. I'm deep within the mid game. Um, I think you will start to swap back in some of your characters who you start with, your starter characters um, like uh, Bale or the Dwarf and uh, Celeste the Healer um, because they level up so much quicker than your purchased characters um, which is a little bit backward I guess um, the only way you can keep up with uh, the rate of um, leveling up which your original characters your free characters your core characters they call it would be to continuously spend money um which depending on your financial situation might be something you could do or you might not be interested in doing like i say the freemium content of um idol champions of the forgotten realms is pretty i would say fantastic it's very generous you can pretty much gain all of the uh, champions through free-to-play methods through the uh, time gate system and you actually as soon as you log in for the first time um, you'll get a free time gate unlock so you could then get yourself uh, a free hero that way as well so you could actually start off with your 12 free heroes your, um, which you get at the beginning of the game. You could then get your 5 heroes which you get through the steam pack and then uh, uh, another free hero through the time gate. Okay so that's going to do it for our look at idle champions of the Forgotten Realms and the concurrent Steam Sale, which has got a long and winding name, which I'll uh, put in the link below. I'll put it all over the place, just so you know what the thing's called. Um, but every time you look at Steam, if you look at Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms, you'll see the link to the free uh, gifts, promotions, etc, etc. So yeah, that's going to do it for our look at Idol Champions. Um, so yeah, if you do want to see more, I, there's more I could do and maybe there'll be some more tips and tricks videos. Um, but yeah, um, uh, I do enjoy the game, I do enjoy playing it, I do enjoy running it in the background while I'm doing something else as well. Anything's possible, really good stuff and now is a great time to take, to take up the, uh, to take up the mantle of the, uh, idol champions so yeah thanks for watching please do leave a like comment and subscribe thanks very much bye for now
I'm sorry about the balls! 